Hello viewers, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. It's still me, Dr. Nubia Gata Chizoba. I call on you to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so, if it's your first time of being here with us. And we continue, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Without you, Father, there is nothing we can do. So we continually call on you for a greater experience, a greater mathematical experience in Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I want to discuss uh, swords. What are swords? The spirit of numbers that cannot be simplified into a whole number or a rational number. Cannot be, that cannot be simplified into a whole number or a rational number. That is a, a quotient of two integers. All right. Now, this is a sword. If x is not a perfect square, is a sword if x is not a perfect square. For example, uh, sword 3, 3, sword 3. 3 is not a perfect square. Sword 5 is not a perfect square. Square root of 5 is not a perfect square. Okay? They are all sorts. And uh, look at this one. Square root of 4. Although it's under square root, but that does not make it a sort. Because this you can simplify to be equal to what? 2 or minus 2. Okay? Square root of 25. It's not sort. Because square root of 25, we know, is 5 or minus 5. So it's not sort. So now, we are going to look at the rules that guide you when you are operating with sorts. One is the sort of a product is equal to the product of its individual sort. Sort Mn is equal to sort M times sort M. We have another one, the sort of a quotient is equal to the quotient. Of the individual sort. These two are basically the rules you have when you are operating with a sort. Every other thing comes from these two. Okay, now it is good I give the following remarks because some students used to make that mistake. Why operating in the field of salt? You see people doing something like this. Salt M plus N. You see them when they are faced with this, you see people saying it is equal to salt M plus salt N. It is not, please. It is not. Please note that it is not. It's not equal to salt M plus salt N. More so, sort M minus N. Still, is not equal to sort M minus sort N. It's not equal. Okay? You can convince yourself of this with uh, rational numbers. You can uh, use perfect squares to convince yourself. Because the same thing applies there. For example, if you have something like uh, square root of 9 plus 16, which we know is square root, it is square root of 25. Okay. Observe that it is not the same thing as square root of 9 plus square root of uh, 16. Square root of 9 is what? Is 3. Square root of 16 is what? Is uh, 4. You see? This is 3 plus 4, which is 7. But this is square root of 25. There is no way 5 is equal to 7. 5 is not equal to 7. You can do the same even to this to convince yourself. All right? Let us also use perfect squares to convince ourselves of this uh, rule because the same thing applies. If you have... Uh, square root of 
Observe that 36 is equal to 9 times 4. Eh? It is equal to 9 times 4. So it is certain as square root of 9 times 4. Okay? This is equal to square root of 9 times square root of uh, 4. What is square root of 9? It's 3. And what is square root of 4? It's 2. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Which is the same thing as this. Because square root of 36 is uh, 6. So 6 is equal to 6. 6 is equal to 6. Division. Let us also use a perfect square. So, square root of 36 over 4. Square root of 36 over 4. 36 over 4 is equal to 9. And square root of 9 is equal to 3. Okay? Convince yourself that it is something as saying square root of 36 over square root of uh, 4. The square root of 36 is equal to 6. And square root of 4 is equal to 2. 2. two and so 6 over 2 is equal to 3. So, while operating with subs, just apply these rules and you are done. Okay? For example, you might be asked to reduce a sword given to you to its lowest term. Reduce to its lowest term. Or you might be asked to simplify. Once you're asked to simplify a sordic expression, it means that you are to reduce the number under the square root sign. You are to reduce it such that it will not have a perfect square factor. But under the square root sign should be reduced such that it doesn't have a perfect square factor, okay? There is no factor of it that will be a perfect square. Once that is done, then the sod is simplified. For example, simplify sod 8. Observe that 8 has a perfect square factor. What is that? 4. 4 is a factor of uh, 8. And 4 is a perfect square. So that means that even as small as you might think that 8 is, is not yet, this is not yet uh, simplified. So in order to simplify it, you use our rule. And what does this say? That sod 8 is equal to sod 4 times 2. And sort 4 times 2 is equal to sort 4 times sort 2 is equal to sort 4 times sort 2. So sort 4 is equal to 2. So we have this as equal to 2 sort 2. It is now simplified because the number under the square root sign here is 2 and 2 has no other perfect square factor. Simplify sod 45 is equal to 5 times 9. It is also equal to 15 times 3. But which of them do you choose? If you choose any of if you choose any of them, there is no problem. So you can see that 45 is equal to 5 times 9, as well as 15 times 3. You are free to use, choose any of these. But there are choices that you will make, and it will make work easier for you. There are ones you will make, and it will require you to do more work. Okay? Let's look at these two things now. Okay? Let's see what we have by choosing this, and what we do by choosing this. So 45 is equal to sort 5 times 9, which is equal to sort 5 times sort the 9. Sort 9 is equal to 3 
So we have this as equal to 3 sub 5. Now suppose you decide to choose 15 times 3, which is still 45. Have you committed any crime? No, you've not committed any crime. The only thing is that if you don't finish your work, you continue to work. So 45 is equal to so 15 times 3. You've not, commit, you've not committed any crime. Okay? Which is equal to which is equal to so 15 times so 3. Is this simplified? No. Why? 15 is equal to sub 5 times 3. So you have sub 5 times 3 times sub 3, which is equal to sub 5 times sub 3 times sub 3. Okay? And so 3 times so 3 is equal to 3. Why is so 3 times so 3 equal to 3? Remember, so 3 is equal to what? 3 raised to power half. So 3 raised to power half times 3 raised to power half is equal to 3 raised to power half plus half equal to 1. Let's look at uh, number 3. Simplify 1,155. Start in a simple way. Check the factors. Okay? And uh, divide by 3. If I divide this by 3, I'll have 3, 8, 5. 3 divides this. That's 3 divides 11. 9 is 3. 25, 24 is uh, 8. And then uh, we have uh, 15 is 3. So let me divide by 5. I have uh, 35. That is 7. And uh, remaining 3, 35, 7. Divide by 7, I have 11. Divide by 11, I have 1. All right. So, it's equal to 3 times 5 times 7 times 11. Which means it has no perfect square factor. It has no perfect square as a factor. That, that means that you cannot reduce it any longer. That this is the basic form. That is the basic form. So you can see it is not whether the number under the square root sign, whether it is big or small. That is not what makes it uh, simplified. What makes it simplified is that the number under the square root sign has no perfect square factor. So this one now is simplified. It is simplified. Well, simplify this. Answer is what? The answer to this is what? Sod 1,155. Period. That's the answer. Okay, look at sod 8 here. It's not simplified. Look at 45. Sod 45, not yet simplified. Until we simplify it to be this. Until we simplify sort A to be this. This is the simplest form of it. The simplest form of this. But this is the simplest form of that. Because it has no perfect square factor. Okay, now let's look at number four. You are given this. Simplify this. What do you do? You can start this way. This is equal to sod 896 over sod 7. Okay? Now, what is 896? 896, 896, 2 divides, I have 4, 
have four, eight. To divide this, So, 896, you see, is this. So, we have it as a, this is 2 times 2 times 2, 8, 8. So, I have 8 times 8 times 2 times 7. 8 times 8 times 2 times 7. So, I have a perfect square there. 8 times 8 is 64. So it is 64 times 2 times 7. Equal to sub 64 times sub 2 times sub 7. 64 times sub 2 times sub 7. All over sub 7. Sub 7 here cancels sub 7 there. And I have sub 64 is 8. 8 sub 2. And I'm done. Alternative, you can add the side to divide out here. And you will have this. 7 divided this is equal to sort of uh, 128. 128. And one, sort of 128. 128, you can see that it is equal to 64 times 2. Equal to... So 64 times so 2. And that gives you 8 so 2. So whichever way you choose is still okay. Still the same thing. Because the law says it is the same. And it is uh, the same. So we end it here for today. And I still call on you to subscribe to my channel if this is the first time of coming in here. Okay? I wish you good luck and God blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.